Good morning, students. How are you all? Good. Children, as you all know, we are about to begin our first term exam. Yes, it will start from 23rd October. So, children, to prepare for our first term exam, let us start revision. Revision of our science subject. So, let's begin. Let's start with revision number 1. In this children, we are going to learn all the objectives. First, question number 1. Fill in the blanks. First one. The process by which plants make their own food is called DASH. Correct answer is photosynthesis. Second, to inhale dash and to exhale dash is called respiration. Yes, we inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide and it is called respiration. Third, the elimination of waste substances from the body is called dash. It is excretion. Next, the ability to respond to an event is called dash. It is responsiveness to stimuli. Next, on completing their lifespan, every living thing dash. Yes, every living thing dies on completing their lifespan. Now let us start the second question that is true or false. First one. The snail is an aquatic animal. Is it true or false children? Yes, it is false. Amphibians can live in air and in water. Answer is false. Amphibians can live in in water and on land, not in air. Third, the function of the brain is well developed in vertebrate animals. Answer, yes, it is true. Fourth one, the amoeba is a multicellular animal. Yes, it is False because amoeba is a unicellular animal, isn't it? Good. Moving to the next question. Question number 3. Write two names of each. We need to write two names for the question being asked. First, a flowering plant. It is rose and lotus. These are flowering plants. A non-flowering plant. Examples are ferns and mosses. Okay, we can say mosses also. Third, a tree. Answer, mango tree and neem tree. A shrub. Lemon and henna. A creeper. Answer, money plant and Cucumber, an annual plant, marigold and corn. A biennial plant, answer is carrots and parsley. A perennial plant, answer is asparagus and purple cornflower. Understood children? Next question. What are the emergency contact numbers of the following? Children, this is very important. You should always remember this. Police control room. Okay, if we need help of, a, of police, so which number should we dial? 100. Zero, zero. Okay, remember this children. For fire brigade, what is the number we need to dial? 101 
For ambulance, we need to dial 102. And national level single emergency number for disaster relief, we should dial 108. Okay, these are some important emergency contact numbers. Always remember these contact numbers. Moving to the next question. Who is the odd one out? Let us find out. First, fungus, mushroom, chrysanthemum, spirogyra. Answer is chrysanthemum is the odd one because it is a flowering plant whereas Rest of them are non-flowering plant. Understood? Second, mango, banyan, palm, chickpea. Answer is, chickpea is the odd one out because it is a type of herb. Whereas, rest of them are the types of trees. Got it? Third one, grape. Orange, lemon, hibiscus. Answer, grape is the odd one out because it is a climber whereas rest of them are shrubs. Fourth one, sunflower, banyan, jawar, bajra. Answer, banyan is the odd one out because it is a perennial plant. Whereas rest of them are annual plant. Fifth one. Guava, radish, carrot, beetroot. Answer. Guava is the odd one out because it is a perennial plant. Whereas rest of them are biennial plants. Next is deer, fish, man, worms. Answer is. Worm, it is the odd one out because it is an invertebrate whereas rest of them are vertebrates. Understood children? The next question is suggest remedial measures for dealing with natural or man-made disasters. So there are some disasters and what remedies should we suggest? We should answer them first one is fire so what would what is the remedy we should use a fire extinguisher call the fire brigade and run to a safe exit second building collapse if the building collapses what we, what should we do first we should evacuate the building immediately seek shelter in other safe places. Call the fire brigade or rescue team. And first aid should be given to the injured people. Next is road accident. Call the ambulance immediately. Give first aid if possible. Flood. Do not linger in houses or areas near river banks. Seek shelter in other safe places. Move to a safer places at a greater height. Do not step into water currents or, or dive a vehicle into them. Okay, we should not drive a vehicle into them. War. Take shelter in relief camps. Provide assistance in the rescue mission. Bomb explosions. Take shelter in relief camps or safe places. Immediately call the police. Be alert and do not touch the unattended objects. Next, earthquakes. Run to a safe place. Hide below a table and do not use elevators. Instead, use a staircase. Deluge. Take the warnings and signals from the meteorological department. Keep away from river banks and low-lying areas. 
take shelter in relief camps. Storms Remain in a safe place. Unplug all the electrical devices. Take instructions given to the people by meteorological department. Do not take shelter under the trees. Tsunami Move to a safer place and stay alert. Drought Save water. Take care of people and cattle. And then Landslide Landslide may be caused due to excessive rains or cloud burst in hilly areas. Do not take shelter at the foot of a hill. So these are some of the remedies of the disasters. Question number 7. Define the following. First one is elasticity. Answer. Some substances change their shape when a force is applied on them, but return to their original shape and size when the force is removed. This property is called elasticity. Understood children? Second is evaporation. Answer. Evaporation is the process by which a liquid turns into a gas. Third, air pollution. The smoke that directly mixes with the atmosphere, disturbing the balance between the constituents of air. It is called air pollution. Natural resources. Materials or substances occurring in nature which can be exploited for economic gain. It is natural resources. So children, with this we have finished our revision number 1. I hope everyone has understood today's revision. Children, please do write this revision in your science book. Understood children? Good. So children, all the best for your exam. Stay calm and study hard. I hope every one of you have understood today's revision. We shall see you in our next video with the revision number 2. Till then children, take care. All the best. Thank you children.